Death Star plans are not in the main computer. Where are those transmissions you intercepted? What have you done with those plans? This man, George Lucas, had a vision. But above all, he had the talent and drive to make that vision. Star Wars was released in 1977 and changed the movie industry forever through refashioning the role of popular culture in Hollywood. And then he followed it up with one of the finest movies ever made, 1980's The Empire Strikes Back. And he finished his trilogy about a hero's journey of a farmer's boy overthrowing an evil galactic empire with the help of his friends and redeeming his father in 1983's The Return of the Jedi. Lucas created a lived-in practical universe where good, the Jedi versus evil, the Sith, fight for dominance. Exotic, wild worlds full of creatures and technologies such as protocol droids who translate languages of sentient beings or machines and the astromech droids, the versatile utility robots, but above all, he filled it with characters that audiences grew to love. Luke Skywalker, played by Mark Hamill, the farm boy turned Jedi. Han Solo, played by Harrison Ford. Fuck you, Solo movie, for the bullshit reason for that cool name. Um... Solo. A cynical smuggler, rogue. Yeah, Oscar. Yes, I bet you have. Who slowly turns into a fighter for the rebellion. You're all clear, kid. Now let's blow this thing and go home. Princess Leia, played by Carrie Fisher, a feisty leader of the rebellion and a member of the Imperial Senate. Governor Tuck, I should have expected to find you holding Vader's leash. I recognised your foul stench when I was brought on board. Obi-Wan Kenobi, played by Sir Alec Guinness and Ewan McGregor, Jedi Master. <laughs> and veteran of the Clone Wars. C-3PO, protocol droid. Played by Anthony Daniels and R2-D2, astromech droid, played by Kenny Baker. Chewbacca, a Wookiee, played by Peter Mayhew, Han Solo's friend and co-pilot of the Millennium Falcon. The most iconic spaceship design in movie history. And one of the greatest cinematic villains. Darth Vader. We're on a diplomatic mission! If this is a consular ship, where is the ambassador? Played by David Prowse in costume and voiced by James Earl Jones. Lucas followed the OT with the prequel trilogy. Phantom Menace in 1999, Attack of the Clones in 2002, and Revenge of the Sith. In 2005. They are not on the same level as the OT. Dreadful dialogue. I killed them. I killed them all. They're dead. Lazy direction by Lucas. And an over reliance on digital effects. <laughs> Perhaps if his ex-wife, Marcia Lucas, who was one of the editors on the OT and instrumental in developing the memorable character moments throughout the OT, the prequels could have rivaled its predecessors. However, George's vision and production design is still evident. Then Lucas sold the IP to Disney and Fetch Me A Coffee Cafe took over Lucasfilm and set about amber herding all over George's legacy. Single-handedly, this talentless jacked-up waitress has foobarred the entire Star Wars universe. The destruction began when Fetch Me My Coffee Cafe hired Mr. Paste and Copy Hack, J.J. Abrams, 
with a story beat to story beat of the superior original. What a piece of junk! Yes, chef. That was garbage. And renamed it The Force Awakens. It did the same trick in 2013's Star Trek Into Darkness. which was an insult to the wrath of Khan. So it wasn't a massive surprise when TFW turned out to be a crappy knockoff. However, just ripping off the original wasn't enough. Fetch Me My Coffee Cafe wanted to destroy the OT characters. Perhaps George forgot to thank her for all those years of coffee service. The Virtue Signal hack Abrams obliged by turning Han into a deadbeat dad who was so incompetent that he had forgotten where he had parked the Millennium Falcon. And for his sins, being a white male, of course, he was killed by <laughs> a wannabe emo Darth Vader. And Fetch Me My Coffee Cafe interjected identity politics because, hey, Star Wars never had diversity. Abrams' movie was a crappy knockoff, but things were about to get a hell of a lot worse. Step up hack number two, where's my trilogy, Ryan Johnson? And he crapped out The Last Jedi, the movie that killed the Star Wars IP. If you like the content, please subscribe. Hit the like button and notification bell for new content. Where are you taking this thing? Prisoner transfer from cell block 1138.